Hello, everybody. My name is Al DePaulo, and I'm the Partner Products Manager over here at Bobcat Cam. And today I wanted to take a look at this, this model here and uh, some different surfacing tools we can use to split it up. In the last video, I showed how to create two cavities. Uh, in this case, I want to show how to create some cores. So, again, we're going to rotate the part 90 degrees in X. Um, to get it uh, facing the Z and then we'll also rotate it uh, 90 degrees in Z to have it be parallel to the X axis or uh, last time I said Y it's the X that I wanted it aligned with okay so now from here I really want to create um, two shapes right now this is a, a solid I want to create um, two shapes uh, one for this top half as a male, one for the bottom half as a male. Now to do this, there's a couple of different ways that you can do it. In this case, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to unstitch the model. So I'm going to go to Utilities, Stitching, Unstitch Solid to Surfaces. And uh, we'll, we do see that there's an error. One of the surfaces there was a problem with, or more than one of the surfaces. And um, so we're going to address that in just a second. But from here, if we go into a selection mode, you can see that it is broken up all the different uh, surfaces. So instead of selecting it as a solid, we can pick the independent surfaces. So I'm going to go to a front view here. Uh, I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to select all of these surfaces here. I'm going to change them over to layer number one. I'm go ahead and turn that layer off. And then here we have the... Um, the bottom half. I'm going to create another layer. This is going to be layer number two. I'll go to a front view. I'm going to just select everything and then move it over to layer number two. All right. Now, uh, with layer number one, we have the top here. That's actually pretty good. The bottom here, I'm going to flip this over, kind of like what I did in the last example. So we're going to go to utilities, rotate. This is going to be Y um, 180, and I'm going to pick a position. So we'll select this all here. Again, uh, uh, let me do that. Select it all, and then we're going to shift click to grab some points off the solid. And then now we can see we have it rotated over there. So we have uh, both of these. Um, rotated facing the same direction. Now, let's go to the first one here. If we look at this, uh, everything looks good here. All the surfaces are intact. Um, so what we're going to do is change the color that we're in. Utilities, stitching, stitch surface to solid. We'll select everything. Uh, and we're going to just change the color of this. So now this is considered one object again. Uh, surfaces that are stitched together. On the second one here, we have some some other issues going on. Uh, some of these uh, fillets have dropped out. You'll notice that they're no longer present here. Uh, this can happen from time to time. Uh, it just depends on the model itself. Uh, you know, no big deal. We can just come in and repair these surfaces. So what I'm going to do is just create a new layer. I'm going to make it active, and I'm going to go to my uh, utilities menu and I'm gonna extract the wireframe for these edges here uh, okay so that will give me the wireframe for those edges now I'm gonna do the same thing for this side over here I'm gonna grab uh, all the edges where the hole is so we'll go ahead and grab those there I think there is one other uh, some more sections over here okay uh, we're gonna grab these edges here so what we're doing is picking the edges where the surface is missing and we're gonna use that wireframe to generate some more uh, surfaces or some fill surfaces okay so in this case you can see that there are four entities so we're gonna use a skin for that we'll go to surface skin and you know when, when you pick on if you look in the window here it shows you the order uh, you select the two uh, two ends and then the or two sections and cross sections so when you're selecting on this if you click on 
the past the midpoint of the line here it will make it go in that direction if you switch from the midpoint you can uh, change what direction they're selected in so this is a single entity so we're gonna select that one and then we'll shift left click to get that one there We'll click on this one, shift left click to get that one there, this one, shift left click, this one, shift left click. Now we got them all done, right click OK, and there's our skin. So we're going to repeat the process over here. Uh, we're going to left click, shift left click, left click, shift left click, and we're going to just repeat this process, and that gives us that one. All right, we're going to do the same thing over here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, just continue to add our skins so now we have that one now this one here we actually don't have this radius down here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna translate this uh, make a copy pick pick we'll select this shape here shift left click to grab our snap point, snap snap points we'll grab that point there shift left click grab this point here so now we have all four edges, surface, skin, here to here, here to here, here to here, here to here. All right. So now if we uh, go back to our layer number two, you can see we now have uh, all the surfaces uh, necessary for the ones that dropped. Uh, we'll go ahead and select uh, utilities, uh, utilities, stitching, stitch surface to solid. We'll select all this stuff here. All right, now um, we have this as one object and we'll go ahead and change the color of it to this green color. So if we turn on layer one and layer two, uh, you'll now notice that we have uh, both of our shapes here. Kind of like what I did in the last time I moved this one over. So I'm gonna do 